you would have been in the media observing that over the last year or so, my speeches uh, were not always supportive of the government. But still I felt an obligation as a member of the parliamentary government to protect the interests of the government, protect the political interests of the government. But it reached a point where I had a choice between blind obedience and principal objection. And I could not go on indefinitely. Uh, trying to be diplomatic, trying to protect the interests of the government against principle. You know that uh, diplomacy often leads to hypocrisy. You're trying to be diplomatic, but then you're sounding like a hypocrite. Your conscience must mean something. And therefore, I came to a point where I had to take the decision that if my philosophical and political views do not accord with those of government uh, in terms of its legislation, in terms of its policy, the relationship becomes untenable. This is not about any personality conflict. Uh, personality conflicts really are like a soap opera. And my politics are not the politics of a soap opera. I am more concerned with the horror story that has become life in Barbados. Uh, this society and this economy are in crisis. And I could not stand in a parliament from week to week and defend the, defend the indefensible. I could not stand in a parliament week after week and try to be diplomatic. And I could not stand in a parliament every week and begin to sound like a hypocrite. I am not a hypocrite. I do not protest my own honesty, but the upbringing that I have had as a child tells me that I should adhere to truth even when it hurts. And I know that the truth hurt the cause of the government, but there's a time when a man must do what a man must do. And I did what I had to do. Uh, the relationship becomes untenable. I am not interested in personal conflict. Indeed, I understand uh, a meeting was held last night. I was told this this morning that a meeting was held last night and one of the speakers said that there's no trouble in the camp, that the trouble has left the camp. Uh, clearly, the reference is to me having left the camp without regret. I would say to him, uh, and I would quote the American legislator John Lewis by way of advice, and I take that advice, be good trouble, necessary trouble, and help America redeem itself. In the context of Barbados, I say to him, I intend to be good trouble, necessary trouble, and help Barbados redeem its soul. Were there specific policies that you did not agree with? Oh yes, oh yes. Last year during the budget uh, debate, uh, my speech, I think, this is not to be a modest, stood out for its criticism, deep criticism of government in terms of sending home some of the most vulnerable people in Barbados. When those people receive those jobs, I praise the government. But here was a government sacrificing the interests of the most vulnerable. And here was a government enfranchising a large cadre of Barbadians called consultants who live well, who eat well, who sleep well. And we were condemning the poorest and the most vulnerable people into greater adversity.